Well, Lynn Lily is here, and she has brought the party gifts with her. <laughs> hey, yes. Lynn. Hi, thanks so much for having me again. Thank you for coming, because you always bring really cool stuff. Now, I know we're starting off with kind of some unique ideas for wrapping gifts. Yes, absolutely. So you don't have to just go with traditional wrap anymore. You can easily personalize your gifts and just add fun touches that will make all the difference to that person that's getting that gift. Okay, so how do we get started? Okay, so let's first talk about a birthday party. Okay. Kids' birthday parties are fun. You want the kid to have fun opening the gifts. So let's not just go traditional, let's personalize it. So I've got a ribbon and tape printer, which is my go-to tool when mm -hmm. I am wrapping gifts. So what I did first was I took a little grouping of balloons and just rubber banded them. Now I am gonna print out a personalized ribbon, which is fun because then you don't need a card, right? Oh, that's a great idea. I always forget the card. Me too, so then I end up taking a little piece of wrapping paper and like writing a quick note inside or something. Yep, yep. Which is not quite as or cute. Or writing on the box, yes, right? Yes, I've done that one too. <laughs> yes, so this is a nice way to kind of kill two birds with one stone, and there's so many options to personalize it, from the color of the ribbon to the font and even really fun emojis that you can put on it. So I've got one here that's fully printed out, but how cute is that? Super cute. Okay, so now we make this super easy. I have to confess to you, I'm a terrible bow tire. Oh, so girl, do you wait. have some bow tying tips. Okay, so here's the thing. You don't have to be super perfect, especially okay. on a kid's gift. And you know what? Sometimes you don't even have to tie a bow. So what I want you to do for me there mm -hmm. is just put your finger right there for me to hold that. We don't even need a traditional bow for this okay. because our balloons are making our bow. Oh, so if you are a terrible so bow tire, clever. think about something else that you could add to it. And then all you've got to do is we'll just trim off our edges here, just like that. That's nice super little cute. finish. And then it says, happy birthday, Leah. You've got your card all in one, and it's nice and finished off, and then you don't have to worry about if you're a terrible bow tire. So I've got one more idea for you. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Yep. So I've got a white ribbon with a mm -hmm. nice, pretty gold on it. So this is a little bit more upscale. So maybe you're doing going to a welcome home party, someone just moved into their house. Take a dish towel because everyone needs dish towels. Wrap it around a box of chocolates, something simple. I'm gonna have you hold that for me. I love it when the wrapping is part of the gift. I mean, there's a Japanese yes. tradition that's certainly all about giving gifts mm -hmm. that, you know, the wrapping is as important as what's inside. Absolutely. So then you can just tie a simple bow and then nothing goes to waste. And this is a nice ribbon that they can keep and use for something else. It says, welcome home, love mom. And then this becomes an all-in-one gift. Again, saves you on the card and some Something that you can do really quick. And I also just, I like the like eco-friendly part of using a yes. dish towel because I yep. feel like that's one of those things where you aren't ending up throwing something away that lasted for like mm -hmm. two seconds. Absolutely. This is now a functional thing. And if you didn't have a dish towel, you could use a pretty piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. You could use anything so like that. So many different things. So another easy idea, we all have craft mm -hmm. paper that instead of throwing it away, save it and wrap a gift box with it. You know, it. I actually use the um, grocery bag, you know, how you get like the yeah. brown paper grocery yep. bags if you turn them in. Right. out. They work great. Yeah. So think about other things that you can use to recycle around your home. I'm thinking even like newspaper, oh magazine gosh, Newspaper pages. makes the cutest, especially if you get the funnies, oh, <laughs> right? Yeah. Those make a great gift wrap. So, all right, we're moving on from gifts. Okay. We all like to get flowers or give flowers. It's usually an easy project, but these don't look super pretty when you get them from the grocery store, right? That bag is not the best. So, what you can do is take some brown craft paper like we just talked about using the gift, just create a simple wrap with it, pull these guys out of this yucky paper, let's get rid of that, pop these right in. Now, if it's gonna be a bouquet that needs to last long, you can always put the water pedestals on the bottom or wrap it in some wet paper towels. But already, this looks like an upgraded bouquet. It is amazing how something as simple as just putting it in a brown paper wrapper, and I'm imagining if you had leftover wrapping paper, yes. or you could even do your dish towel trick here, here with, with the flowers. Absolutely, you most definitely can. You just really gotta get creative and think about the things that you already have at home. Now, we already printed out um, a ribbon, so I got just a nice little pattern that will tie around it. And then let's think about a gift tag. Gift tags are so easy. Easy, which is why I love them. So I've got a washi tape cartridge in here and I wanna just type out the name of the recipient that okay. I'm gonna give it to. All right, so it's gonna be for Lisa. 
And you know, this is another great alternative. We were just saying like use a ribbon instead of a card, use yeah. a tag instead of a card. Like there are a lot of ways instead of, again, I would scroll on this paper because I've been known to do that kind of yes, thing. you can <laughs> decorate it but or design it. It's probably nicer to use a little tag or something yep. that's a little cuter. So there are a bunch of different things that you can do. You can pick the font, you can pick mm -hmm. some fun little emojis. Yeah. So what I did was I just took a regular tag. This can be a store-bought one that you already I'm gonna have. I was say it's really nice that you've layered mm -hmm. the two patterns and then you've pulled that pattern back in with the heart, heart. embellishment. Yes, so you know you have a lot of those just little extra scrap pieces that you can easily punch a heart or cut a little shape out of it. And if you don't have a punch, you can just cut a little triangle, something cute to just layer it. So now I'm putting my washi tape right on there and it's gonna say, happy birthday, Lisa. So if you can do me a favor and just start yeah. tying that ribbon right oh, around there. Man, and you then, know my ribbon okay, tying Okay, so actually start from, start from the back start so that back. we can add the tag onto it. Okay. There you go. And then Perfect. am I tying it in a knot? Just do one little knot. I like to start okay. with one knot because it just secures it and makes it easier. There you go. We'll just slip this right on as soon as I get my tape Actually, on. you know what I'm just realizing is I could obviously use some tape to hold this in place and you because could. it's pretty, then Absolutely. it wouldn't look terrible. Yeah, you could always pull off an excess piece of this washi tape, pop it right there in the center, especially if you're doing this by yourself and you don't got a friend to hold the bow <laughs> for you. But I just love how this finishes this off, just like that. And Super then you can simple. always trim Everything's but that bouquet just went from grocery store drab yeah. to homemade fab. It really looks <laughs> right? fantastic. I love that idea. Okay, so now let's talk about picture frames. Okay. Because pictures are a great gift to give. Mm -hmm. You know, once I had a child, everyone just wanted a picture of my child <laughs> in a frame. But, you know, I said that's so boring. So think about turning scrapbooking pages into picture frames. So okay. I took a piece of decorative paper. Mm -hmm. I just cut it to the size of my frame. And then I took two pictures. I like the point. Polaroid-ish look to it, so I put a white sheet of paper right behind it. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take some white ribbon and I'm going to print out a cute little sign for right there. So all you've got to do is just add some fun little personalizations to it because then your gift, gift giver knows well, what the occasion we were, was. We were also talking about the fact that like when you're a parent, as they say, the days are oh slow but gosh. the years are fast. Yes. And so it's nice to say like here's where we were, this was the date because you do forget and you don't think you're going to, but you really do forget. I mean, this is what I really love about scrapbooking. Yes. Is I think there's you a get lot to look of back at the yeah. memories. And what I have learned is that my family and friends also like to look back at the memories. So I took pictures for my daughter's first birthday and printed out just a nice little happy birthday. So that's a nice remembrance of what the actual occasion was. And then I like to use little raised sticky pads because I think it adds dimension, right? I never thought of using them on ribbon because ribbon's not rigid. Right, but look at how nice that stands up and it just yeah. adds a little extra personal touch. So then my family and I, we like to use a little hashtag with our last name. So we call ourselves the Posner Party of Three. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add this little ribbon right on top there for the personalization. Whoops. Tie it in a nice little bow. Got that there and you can always adjust it. And then, you know, you could get creative with it. So I've got a little extra space right there. I'm gonna add a dot of glue and just put this guy right here. And so what I love about this is that you get the cute 3D effects to it. So it stands out. So it's like a scrapbook page in so a frame. So you don't even need glass over this. No. So I like to take the glass out so you see those 3D elements and it becomes a fun talking piece. So you can do all different sizes. So if you check out this one here, I was able to add just a few more pictures, but got to get creative with all the fun messages. That's super cool. And you know, if you don't need the glass, it strikes me that now you have a range of like thrift store frames yeah open to you yep. and like all sorts of things where like the glass got broken and mm -hmm. you're not sure what to do with it anymore. Absolutely. And then you can add all kinds of trinkets to it as well. And certainly you, when you're wrapping something like this, you could take any of these methods. Absolutely, and you know what? This is so pretty, it doesn't even really need to be wrapped. You could put one nice little personalized bow around it and give it to the person who's getting this it. They will love it. so cute. And you know, so many ideas for parties and for giving, mm -hmm. and I do think that like the way you present or give a gift is as important as the gift itself. Absolutely, so it reflects you, and just remember, it makes the person feel a little extra special. Lynn, this has been so great. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much.